Boo! Let's make some jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I was gonna make a, like, a plan for this, but we're just gonna wing it. Uh, first thing we're gonna need is to import our reference images, and I've got the folder right here, so I'm just gonna drag this in. And we're gonna come over here to Render Properties, scroll down, <clears throat> Color Management. We want Standard instead of Filmic. Filmic's for more, like, realistic stuff. And you can start with any object that you want, basically. I'm just gonna go with a sphere. And let's see what looks about right. Let's go with this. Let's move this just a little bit. All right, proportional editing, hit O, and let's get this shaped. I'm not sure I like that. Ah, uh, start over. Everything, scale it. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> I don't want to make these too sharp here, these edges, but I think this is this is good. Kind of have to think about how big the face is going to be. And let's scale these a little bit. Alright, make some loop cuts here, let's see, yeah, we'll want to separate this, and we'll separate the top as well, the bottom, hmm, okay, over in shading, let's make a new material. Click here, control T, and then new texture. Let's make this 256 by 256 pumpkin. Okay, and we're gonna make this a color grid. All right, UV editor, unwrap. <clears throat> so let's see what we've got here to work with. This is good. Nice and flat, which is what we want. And this is not so good. Why is that so wonky? Mm, let's try this. We'll make another seam here for the back. And unwrap. Okay, that's much better. Um, this is, ah, okay, so here, switch to edges and we'll select everything except 
this edge here, mark seam, so that'll kind of pop out from there. And then let's make a cut here, let's see what that looks like. Okay, uh, I still don't like it. Hmm. Just, we'll just do this. We'll just make another, another cut. For low poly, I find it's best to have very square, um, like faces. Just everything's. I don't know, just uh, none of this curved stuff, but uh, this this is good for now, I think. So let's kind of remap these areas. This is going to be on the bottom, so really it doesn't need to be that big. So we'll put that there. These are the sides, and I'm just going to mirror that. Go over here, kind of line these up, and... I guess scale it a little bit. No, we'll leave it like that. So this is, uh, let's go to the front. This is the back. This is the front. Hitting L to select linked when I uh, click on one of those. And I think that should be enough for the face. So we're good there. Keep these away from the edges a bit. Um, put this down here. Want to have some extra room, like usual, just in case we need it. This is the top of the pumpkin. Okay, so let's save this image. Lantern two and. We're just gonna get to painting. Uh, actually, well, first we're gonna go here, go to closest, so we can get crisp edges. You don't have to have crisp edges if that's not what you like, but it is a little easier to see when you're painting, I feel. Um, texture paint, and I've already made this palette. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's a little intense. Change it a bit, maybe. Now let's make a new palette. New palette. This is over here in Active Tool and Workspace Settings. New palette, and we'll use this color, and then we'll need a darker color, and then a, more like a yellow color, and we're gonna need a bright, bright yellow now. And let's just sample this one here. And then we're gonna need like a green, low saturated green for the stem. And then a darker version of that. All right, let's just fill this. Orange, all right. Uh, oh, make one more really dark. dark color here and let's go over here this is um, paint mask and hover over those and hit L because we've uh, cut those like we had we added these loop or not loop cuts um, <laughs> these seams uh, we can just select these without selecting the other uh, parts of the pumpkin if you hit L and let's paint this with the stem and we'll do that darker color and then a lighter color actually let's let's take our wait how'd that be how is that a lighter color what were we using before i guess we were using the darker color okay and then this also needs to be a darker color, kind of. And then this will be 
same. All right, um, let's go into shading. Actually, we'll, we'll do shade smooth and then we'll make this completely rough. Gives us what we need as far as um, shading, but I'm just gonna put the color into the surface and let's get to work on this. So this area is a bit wonky, but what we're gonna do, is let's say the light is at a slight angle. Go back in here, turn off masking. And up here, uh, brush settings. Somewhere. The turn off, fall off, which gives us that. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to imagine the light is coming down at a slight angle here. So the pumpkin looks more like that. darker areas. You know, if we don't like this, we can always start over. Not a big deal. All right, I don't like the color choices, but we can fix that later. Not a big deal. Um, actually, we can, yeah, we can fix it here. dark color and this is very saturated. Take that away, add some darkness. Um, let's turn the... Uh, I don't know how to adjust the... Huh. Radius, maybe? Is radius what we want for fill? There's gotta be a way... Fill threshold. We want a lower fill threshold. And we can always we can always change that later though. Um so we're starting off with a pumpkin though. And so pumpkins have lines. Let's do one thing here real quick. Create the illusion of roundness here, which is really all you need. Let's choose our darkest color, go back in here. And I'm using a mouse for this because that's what most people use as a mouse. Uh, tablets are good, but we're keeping this nice and simple. Adjust the size with F. And let's just create a couple lines. Hmm. -hmm. Pretty intense lines, but we really don't have to complete these lines. We can just like start them. Maybe the depth of line is not 
that intense. Uh, maybe um, there's dirt in part of the line, but not the whole line. So there's different different approaches for that. And kind of keep the roundness in mind of the pumpkin. References. Yeah, these lines are pretty intense. And we'll make it look like there was a. This was top was cut off. Kind of fudging it a little bit with these lines in front because I know that's where I'm going to put the face. Uh, it's kind of ugly. Let's take our, well, actually, let's save this. Let's see, uh, open, copy this, go into a, uh, whatever editing program you want to use that. Uh, lantern to, okay. So it's a little easier to change things over here in GIMP. Uh, again, you can use whatever you want. Um, let's change this here down low. Mm. Is that all separate colors? Don't know. Here's what we want to do. So this is like in in the um, you know it's going it's got depth. So let's this color here to add that depth. And then do the same for here. Let's up the threshold, I guess, because these are all different colors slightly. Um, do, 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 do. And I'm not using like an anti-alias or anything for these lines. They're very crispy lines, but you don't have to do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo, just like that. And then, hmm, let's select this next part. Oops. Shift, click. Try this as well. So this is even less light in here in the lower part. I don't know how this will look, but that's okay. That looks a lot better. Also, let's see, what is the, I guess it doesn't matter, it doesn't really change anything. These look a little warped, maybe. Oh, um, let's do the top. So let's just select this, get a dark color that's kind of Lower saturation, maybe. Yeah, these just kind of look like lines. But 
this has been like jaggedly cut away because it's a pumpkin. And actually let's, this is a raised area. It's facing more of the light. So let's add just a little bit of a highlight here. This isn't reflective, but it, it would receive more light. So let's export, go back, reload. All right, a very crispy pumpkin. Mm, let's add a bevel here. And then let's, let's see. Ah, I don't know. I can't decide if I want it to be super low poly or not. Hmm. I guess it's not going to be too low poly then. Ah. this I can't tell what I like more Let's see I, I slid those so they are still there they're just doubled up so I'm gonna select everything M merge by distance okay um let's real quick like just rotate this and move it back darker now if the sun's coming in or whatever is coming from this angle but it's okay um actually i guess we could rotate it the other way and it's fine okay so a couple ideas for sculpting the face hmm. what do we want to do here let's save this and then We'll make another version. Uh, I don't think I changed anything. Don't need to reload here. Um, so let's see, this is all we have to work with for the face. Um, should have probably thought about that a bit more. Just make a little face here and we'll see how that looks. Minimalist pumpkin. This is stretched a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So let's move this up a bit. I didn't actually save it as a copy. That's okay. Um, I kind of feel like that line would be better there. Um, that does nothing. What does this do? Yeah, so by making a cut like that, I'm basically telling Blender, hey, um, this is this is how this this is how this turns into a triangle and blender's like oh okay now I understand and I won't make this look so so wonky or it could look more wonky that's not really affected but Keep it this way. Um, do we want a bigger face? Um, kind of make it look like a creepy face. 
pretty sweaty. But that's still a little goofy. This is now kind of, um, it's been cut into, so there's this like area where there's a bit more light, um, like on the actual pumpkin. Like the light we're seeing is directly from the inside, but this is like, this color is, oh, the light's shining through this thinner part. Good, uh, it's a good thing to use in these areas where it's like a little too jagged. like references I did, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not looking at them. Mm -hmm. Add some lines here to indicate. The continuation of these lower areas. Just a little bit. It's the eyebrows. I think it's the eyebrows I really don't like. Add just a little bit more. Reload, and then we've got this pumpkin, and it's like, eh, I don't, I don't know, just, just a pumpkin. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, but what I really wanted to do with this was actually show a tech. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Uh, what I wanted to show is more texture stuff. So let's export this. And we are going to desaturate this image. Well, now we don't really need to do that. We're going to hmm, select this and then invert our selection, delete everything. And then we're going to go up here, brightness 100. Well, just fill this in with white. Oops. 
there we go. And then I wanna fill this with black and we're going to export this as, oops, hit my mic. Mask. So now, over here in shading, duplicate that in our mask, and then mix RGB, delete this. We want to put the color as the factor for here. We can use this bright yellow. And now what can we do with this? So, RGB, let's get a uh, color here. Let's get a color ramp and then yellow and then a super bright yellow maybe. Let's do like a little bit of an orange over here. All right, so we put that in and then Just get a value node, yeah, value node. Plug it in here. So that's that orange completely. Let's hit I to make a keyframe. And then I've already got this open. This is the graph editor. And we have our keyframe. Let's add over here on modifiers. If this is an open, hit N. Noise. Let's adjust the scale here. Strength a little bit so we get all the way through from one end to the other. Make this a bit more subtle. So now we get kind of a flicker effect as if this was actually lit by a candle. And that's really the whole reason I wanted to to show this is that you can <laughs> you can do masks like this, uh, which is probably you know not that big of a shock, but we haven't really gone over that in any videos. Um, so basically, this is uh, black and white. So it's like okay, all the white parts will be this, and all the black parts will be this. And uh, originally I was gonna show this with splitting, uh, like making this blue and then using a different thing. But anyway, yeah, so this is just, this is just uh, meant to be a simple little video for Halloween and um, pumpkins. Actually, that, that's kind of funny. Let's make an animation. So over here in video editing, uh, I want to animate this to a sound. And I have this sound here. I don't know if it actually is it coming through in here. Let's see. Desktop audio. Turn it way down. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this sound. <laughs> okay, so let's make the pumpkin kind of dance a bit. And turn this auto keyframing on. Uh, delete that actually let's hit play <laughs> okay <laughs> all right that's that's 
decent. Um, I don't like how there's so many keyframes here. Um, let's add just a bit more to this. So we have more movement here in the beginning. <laughs> and let's do this scale by 0 0.5, scale 2. Okay. Let's. Uh, is it I? Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, I thought. No, wait. No, I don't. What am I thinking? It's T. T for for this and now this will be choppy <laughs> okay now for here <laughs> let's do this <laughs> uh, all right why is this uh, there's there's so many rotation things already okay yeah because I was using our scale because I was using the uh, auto keyframes let's delete these and play <laughs> Uh, it's 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 okay let's let's animate the face um we'll do it in the easiest simplest way possible oops by just making two images. We could set this up to have like a, a grid of, of faces, but since we're we're only doing this this one change, doesn't make too much sense. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, luckily we can undo everything. And let's put a one here. And back here. We're just gonna plug this back in and then we're gonna do a different mix with, oops, remove that. We just want this here. And you know what? Let's just find where the laughing begins. All right, we want it to begin maybe a little bit before the sound, maybe about here. Let's hit I, and we can just add another noise to that, really. <laughs> oh yeah that, that that's that's pretty good uh but we want this to start right here restrict frames 119 to the ending <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> all right i actually really like that 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 turned out all right and this fading i i actually think it adds to it oh let's change the background <laughs> So now we have a pumpkin animated to the Apogee intro from uh, Monster Bash. <laughs> I don't know. This is so. This is just a video of me doing stuff, and uh, I don't think it turned out great. Like we could we could do a much better pumpkin, but I don't know. I think um, videos like this. Um, are what I find useful where it's just somebody does a thing um, and makes lots of mistakes. So anyway, this is a way to make a low poly uh, pumpkin. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!